Multiverse Corrupt here yet again with another action figure review video. Today we are going to be having a look at Nightwing from the video game Gotham Knights. I'm very excited about this figure. It looks beautiful inside its packaging. I love how the blue really pops with the black. Let's go ahead and get into this packaging for you box nuts. So right here we do have the standard McFarlane case. Everything we've seen up until this point. Open face window. Gotham Knights here at the top. Nothing really going on here. DC Multiverse Nightwing down here at the bottom. Here is the barcode for you barcode guys. Leave that for you for just a second. Nightwing Gotham Knights on the side. Beautiful neon lights. I love the neon light design. Just tells us that this game's really going to pop. Especially when they do product shots like this, like we saw with the Red Hood. And now we are seeing with Nightwing for their trading cards. But just the neon lights just illuminating in the background through the fog. And that's the Belfry right there. It's just, it's just a beautiful shot overall. If I can find me a city landscape, I'm definitely going to be photo dumping a lot of different photos with all of my figures with a city background. Right here on the side, Nightwing, DC Multiverse here, McFarlane Toys down here at the bottom. Put that in frame there, Multi. And here we are back at the front with Nightwing. So let's go ahead and rip this guy out of the package and take a good look at all of his accessories. And here we have it, guys. We have his accessories out here laying on the table for you guys. Right here we have the beautiful McFarlane base. Just a good, simple thing. Foot peg, DC right here in the front. Nothing on the bottom, nothing else on the top. And I dropped it. I'll just leave that down there for now. I'll grab it later. Uh, he does come with his two Eskrima sticks. Eskrima? Eskrima? I think it's Eskrima. But uh, yeah, it's... It's pretty basic design, just like little like divots in there to just make where the electric comes out for his little little tasing sticks. Uh, down here is just painted blue for his handrails here. I do really do love the blue. There's really no, not that much detail on it other than obviously painted blue and the little, I don't know, riblets in here, the little bumps and grips for his hands. They're on there, and then this right here, I'm trying to see if I can pick it up on camera. If it's, yeah, I think it's just kind of sculpted. These black points kind of stick out a little bit. Actually, the white more sticks out more than the black, but it is just kind of painted over there with nothing else going. What do you mean you stopped recording on your own? And right here, guys, to finish it off with the accessories, we do have this beautiful screenshot of the figure itself. Like I said at the beginning, I really want to get a city skyline background i'll get one eventually but until then i'll just be sticking with my lovely outdoor photos nightwing gotham knights down here at the bottom i really do love this like setup that they got going on here these neon lights are really telling us that this game is going to be very vibrant we do have the back read up right here so go ahead and pause the screen and read it if you want to Always leave it there for you guys for just a second, like I always say. That is it with his accessories. Doesn't really come with much, you know. I would, I'd really appreciate, like, the Nightwing style, like, was it sh 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 shurikens? Shurikens? The, the Nightwing batterings, like, those, <clears throat> excuse me, those I feel like would have been a really good accessory to add to this, especially with him being a video game character. But I'm not going to harp on it too much, so let's go ahead, get Nightwing out here, and see how he stands up. And so here we have him, guys. Nightwing straight out here on the rotating turntable. And I have to say, first impressions, I love this figure. It poses perfectly, especially with the scrim sticks. It is very easy to get those in his hands, but it's also very easy to get them out of his hands. But I am glad that McFarlane went the alternative route this time and gave us a little bit more of a bigger grip for his hands as opposed to what they've been doing lately with, um, if y'all remember from my last Batman review, the Batarang was kind of snug getting it into his hand. It fell out very easily, but his hand was more like like it would cover up at the bottom here and you wouldn't be able to put the battering actually in his hand 
But these are scrimmage sticks. They slide in very easily. They slide out very easily. But once they're in, like they, they sit really nice and really firm. You don't have to worry about knocking it out of his hand. I will say on mine, I don't know if it'll be on everybody else's, his back like holsters back here for his scrimmage sticks are very loose. If you want to pose them up with his scrimmage sticks stashed back there, uh, I'd be careful if it is on every one of the figures. Uh, on mine, it's just a slight bump, and I thought I lost one earlier. He fell off my desk, and when he hit the ground, they kind of spit everywhere, and they just were gone for like 10 seconds. But with all that said, let's get him off of the rotating turntable, see how tall he scales up to Batman figures, and obviously, the Red Hood. As for Nightwing's articulation, guys, I do have him standing straight up and down here. Let's go ahead and get hands on with him. As for his articulation, guys, his head is on a ball joint. It can do a full 360 all the way around. It can tilt very good. It's got a very nice head tilt in there. He looks up, not really a lot, but... He is hindered by his hair that they have sculpted coming off right there. So I feel like if they would have gave Nightwing like, you know, a little bit of a side haircut with the back going as well. Like not so much military style, but just a little, just a little trim for him. I feel like they would have been able to make him look up a lot more. But as for just his head looking up, it doesn't really do much. He does look down quite a bit though, so... I guess get ready for a bunch of looking over the streets of Gotham on top of a rooftop photos. Nice brooding pictures. His arm does rotate all the way around. He does have a little shoulder cuff inside there, a little butterfly joint. Not much, though. Actually, this is more just a shoulder cuff for it. His arms do come out, but mine actually only go out about this far on him. I don't know if mine just happens to be stuck or what, but he does have a bicep swivel, rotates all the way around, double hinge at the elbow. See what I mean? Barely knocked it, and it fell right out. So we'll go ahead and take those out. Wait. Doesn't interrupt the review that much. His hands do rotate all the way around. He does have a what is this? Uh, wrist hinge in there does go up or go down but it doesn't really go up as much because right here he does have the little cuff on his gauntlet right here that kind of hinders him going up on it but i can make that work uh he does have a bit of an ab crunch he doesn't really crunch down that far that was like his legs that moved just there they did do kind of the mcfarland thing they're kind of doing with a lot of their figures is where it's like that that soft plastic on the in, on the outside right here to where you can just kind of squish it. I have noticed they've been doing that on their bulkier figures. Like their uh, Suicide Squad wave. Literally every last one of those guys had a soft plastic body. Not a big fan of it, but it does give us this nice range of motion. I'll let it slide for Nightwing because he is a very acro or agile acrobat that has to do all these flips and twists and turns and all this other stuff to defeat his enemies. So I'll, I'll let it slide on, on the Nightwing. His foot does kick out about this far. His foot does kick back about that far. But obviously you will have the McFarlane crotch gap going on for you. He does have double hinge knees. Oh, and he does have to articulation. But as for the sculpt itself, I really am enjoying this. Like I really do love how his suit is. How tactical it looks. Looks like it's kind of... Not it's not slapped together like you know it's not like it's obviously he's been doing this for a while as a Nightwing. I will say what I love most. I cannot get him to stand back up ever since I messed with this foot. Oh, as long as I all I ask is that the foot don't pop off, you know. But as for you know, it's not like he's just starting out. He's been Nightwing for a while. He's done his work, his job over in Bloodhaven. He's helped out in Gotham on numerous occasions. And I am so ready to play as Nightwing and Gotham Knights. Him and Red Hood will be my two mains. I'm just very excited for this video game. I do love how it's literally just the blue with the black, but they're also, if you haven't noticed already, white at the t at the soles of the the boots or shoes. I can't really. The sculpt makes them look like they're just kind of like some strap-on shoes. 
Well, but I, I don't know if it's supposed to be like all white soles or just this is just the white of the little trim on the side. But I kind of I kind of dig it so far. It, it really just sticks out to me. I don't know if you guys caught that when I was messing with him, but he does have the little white trim down at the bottom on his foot, and his suit itself is just black and blue, which is Nightwing standard colors. Let's go ahead and jump into how tall this figure is. This figure, guys, is standing at about seven and a quarter. I'd say, yeah, about seven and a quarter. Uh, we'll see how he stands up to Red Hood. Like I've said multiple times throughout this video, I'm very excited for that part. I'm very excited to get those two shoulder to shoulder in here. That way you guys can see them in the spotlight together. But I really do love this seven inch scale that McFarlane has been doing. Now, let's go ahead and get Red Hood and some Bat family members out here and see how they measure up shoulder to shoulder with Nightwing from Gotham Knights. And here we have them, guys. Nightwing standing up next to his brother in arms, his brother of the Bat family, Red Hood, standing side by side, toe to toe, shoulder to shoulder. And might I say this is a beautiful moment in my collection they're definitely going to be standing on my top shelf where my high price priority figures go they will be up there i really do love this i cannot wait to get the other two gotham knight figures but this is how tall he pairs up to red hood red hood being a little bit shorter which if you ask me i guess makes sense considering nightwing was around first i guess he's supposed to be the leader in this game if that's how you want to see him because in Multiple comics, Batman dies slash disappear. Nightwing's always one to step up to put on the cape and cow before anybody else, whether he wants to or not. He is always the one that everyone looks to. Hey, Bruce is gone. We need a Batman. He is Batman. I've always felt that if there was ever a battle for the cow type thing, which I feel like Gotham Knight might become, I would want Dick Grayson to become the next Batman. Not Jason Todd, not Robin, not uh, Tim Fox from that storyline. No hate towards any of them. I love all the characters, but Dick Grayson just fits for me because he was here first. He should be next in line to take up the mantle of the Batman. Right here, I put him up next to the Arkham Asylum Batman. I was really hoping this one would work because I really do love the Arkham Asylum suit. I obviously love the Arkham Knight suit more, but I do not have that one currently. The only one that I do have hands on is the Batman Arkham Asylum one. And I have to say, it's a good matchup. I just feel like Nightwing looks like he is uh, like about an inch taller than Bruce. And that just doesn't sit, sit right with me. I feel like since Batman is Nightwing's surrogate father, he should be the one taller than Dick Grayson, but, you know, real life, put the, put some realism in there. Maybe Dick grew up to be taller than Bruce. And right here, guys, I do have another Batman I wanted to pose him up next to. This one is my tallest Batman that I have in the collection, and I feel like this works perfectly with it being a very simple, high like high-tech, but simple figure design for Nightwing, but the Batman with his iconic logo and utility belt. I feel like, and, and with height, like he's slightly taller than Nightwing is, but I feel like with height and with how they scale up with each other, I feel like this is going to be my Batman for this makeshift universe, the Batman of the three Jokers. I am perfectly fine with this matchup right here, this side by side. I feel like that Batman would fit perfectly in between all of them on the top shelf, but obviously I have to keep him with the three Jokers lineup when I have them just sitting on the shelf. But make no mistake when I say on Instagram, this will be the Batman that will join the Gotham Knights in their battle to protect Gotham. And right here, guys, obviously I had I had to get the first wave Nightwing out here. I believe the only other Nightwing that McFarlane has produced. And I have to say it is a big step up compared to the wave one i love the wave one it's always going to be one of my favorite nightwing designs and costumes i really need to track down the red suit i have not been, been lucky at all at finding the red suit for nightwing on this one 
But um, as for scale and everything, he is taller than this one. Maybe he grew up somewhere along there. Maybe this is a, a starter Nightwing, early 20s, and this can be like, you know, mid-20s. Maybe he grew some inches. But I feel like it's a good change of pace as opposed to like the Eskrima sticks having no paint on this one, but they did have a good design or a good detail in the Eskrima sticks part. And then over here, just being completely painted and sculpted in between here and there, like I just feel like it was a really good step up. McFarlane really came a long way with it come, when it comes to the whole making their Nightwing figures. And just in case for those wanting to do a multiverse jump, obviously here is Gambit from Marvel Legends. If you want to do the McFarlane with the Marvel Legends line, it is simply not going to work. Marvel Legends is just too small compared to McFarlane. A lot of people like Marvel Legends over McFarlane. I personally like McFarlane over Marvel Legends, mainly because of scale. I really do love scale and the detail that McFarlane puts into his figures. Not that Marvel Legends doesn't put detail in their figures, because this is a beautiful gambit, but it is just not tall enough for me. I need to have them about 7 inches or so, roughly 7 inches, and then I'm happy. But this little 6 inch, there's only so many things you can put him with, as opposed to, you know, the different scales that are out there. So here we have him, guys, back on the rotating term table, which tells you guys that this video is coming to an end. I loved filming this video for you guys. I really love this figure. I love this figure so much that on my scale, Nightwing is coming out with a solid 9 out of 10. And I feel really good with that number. He's very proportionate. He can reach all kinds of lengths and do all kinds of kicks and flips. And I'll just have to show you guys on Instagram what I'm talking about when it comes to kicks and flips and other stands that I can use to pose him up in. I'm going to be having a great time messing with this figure. But with all that said, guys, once again, click that like and subscribe and the notification bell. Leave a comment if you like the video and share it with a friend. really does help my channel out. And I will see all of you guys in the next video. <laughs>